So in this video, we are going to create uh, the first thing which we are going to create is that we are going to create a um, an environment for working for working with Java. So I have actually taken this uh, uh, Anaconda prompt three. I mean, like uh, I'm using Python. So in that, I have written Conda. So Conda create. Okay, create. Uh, these are the uh, syntax which you have to follow. Minus minus name and uh, then django env django env is the environment name and uh, django is the and we are actually creating it for django right so it will take some time and it will actually create all this collect all this uh, packages uh, which are required and it will unzip all the packages and make sure that all these packages are installed and will ask you to proceed so click on the y so it will start extracting the packages basically right and uh, once it is done you will get something like that so to activate so now this act this environment is ready so if you want to activate you have to use this particular code okay so conda activate django so this is what which you have to use so now your uh, you know the environment will be activated so how will you know the environment will be activated because there will be django env which is actually given here so this will show that uh, you have actually activated the environment now if you want to deactivate the environment you can basically use this uh, uh, thing so normally we will deactivate at the end of it so I'll just for the sake of showing it I'm just saying you so now you could see that it is actually deactivated and it has gone back to the base okay so this is how you will actually use this so in this video we are just uh, simply uh, sh uh, telling that you know how to activate and deactivate an environment which is actually created for working with Jab Django right so for this the pre requirements or the prerequisites uh, you want is the anaconda okay so uh, i will actually share in the in the description box i'll just give you a video which will show you how to install this anaconda uh, for you right so that is the only thing which you require so that's all for this day okay thank you so now to install the django we are in the django environment and here what you have to do is that you have to simply give pip install pip install django right so this is what you have to give so um, yes I am going to give allow because now what you have to understand is that I have already installed it for my previous run of the courses and you know was trying to do certain things so that's why otherwise it will take a bit of a time for you to install this okay so this is how you will be you know showing so once it is installed it will say that it is already satisfied otherwise it will take some time installing this particular stuff now we will try to create the first project uh, in the Django by using the Django admin. So for that Django admin start project. So Django uh, it's hyphen admin and I don't want because I have already created uh, the this thing. So I will try to create uh, maybe a, a new one like blog sin. Okay. So blocks in. So this is what I'm going to create. So I'm going to create a new project, a uh, new new project in uh, Django by using. I'm starting the project with blocks in. Okay. So it will take some time. So now what we have to see is that I will show you how the uh, you know thing is actually created. So if you could see here, I'm actually in the data uh, ML DL NLP in the Django. In that you know I have actually created something called blocks in. So in that I do have blocks in with init uh, we will see what all all of this is, is like init.py asgi and settings and url so all this are the default files which is actually created along with it and you do also have something called manage.py right so in the folder where we are you have actually created a new block okay which is named as a blocks in, and these are the uh, various uh, applications so this is basically called as an application we'll see that Yes, yeah, so this is an application which is actually created here. So now what we are actually doing is that, uh, so now we have actually navigated to the block sin. So by using the cd command, we have we are just going in. We have actually been inside this uh, uh, block sin, and in that uh, I have basically typed python manage.py run server. So I'm going to start the server for um, uh, Django. Okay so for that now what what it is actually showing you is that um, um, see starting the server at this particular uh, url so when you go to this particular url so i will go to this particular url and i could see 
that yes so i am in the django page so the install does work uh, successfully and you know everything is running properly so i'm ready to go so we are at the right place and django is installed properly and we are all set to work with the project so that's the meaning of it so now in this video we are just going to quickly see about how to create the admin uh, account so i am still in the blocks in okay uh, so in the blocks in i'm going to create a super user uh, so it will ask you for a username so i'm just giving some simple username uh, which i will not forget um, and then okay this is already taken so probably you know because i was trying it uh, sync okay so now it is asking me for the email address so i'm just giving an email address for the sake of it and uh, now it is asking for some password so i will basically use uh, okay so it will ask me to use the password again oh sorry Okay. yeah uh, so now it is asking me to you know it is asking <laughs> oh my god I, I just so I mean like if you want to give a proper password you could do that and uh, I'm, I'm just trying to go to bypass this uh, validation because as it is done I'm not going to do anything major here I mean like going to um, if you are creating a proper Django application for your company or anything like that it is highly recommended to give a proper um, password okay so now I'm going to bypass it so this step is not recommended though so yes it is super user is actually created successfully right so now I'm going to um, run my server so before running the server I just wanted to show you something uh, this is like uh, manage.py migrate so there is something called migrations so migration is that if you have done any changes to the uh, your applications your uh, applications in Django uh, you can migrate it so that you know all those changes which you have done will be migrated and up-to-date so it is always better to perform this uh, you know uh, very often I mean like uh, maybe uh, uh, because you know if there is any changes that is done say if you're working as a team and uh, many people are working on the same project then this migrations have to be updated very frequently so I don't have any migrations as of now but I had a lot of migrations before so it is better to uh, run this migrations so that you are up to date with whatever changes has been done to your uh, file right so now I'm going to run my server so once I'm running the server I'm going to this uh, um, local host so I'm just going here and I'm going to the uh, going to this one right and what I need to do is that slash admin yes it is there so slash admin so you have to give like this one slash admin so once you go to the slash admin okay yeah it is uh, already running with the cine okay it is actually running with the cine so I'm just going to log out so initially when you uh, give uh, wait so I have not logged out initially that's why it was not giving me the right answer so if you log out so this is what it is so this is the saved password no I don't want that because I am actually going with a new username and password right uh, so I'm giving my new username and new password so I'm logging in so once I logged in you know you could see that I am in the Django administration website where I could see the authentication and authorize authorization, uh, authorization and you could see the groups okay so there are no specific groups which are added here and uh, uh, now yeah so there are two different uh, you know of people who have actually logged in to the Django website one is actually Cine and the other person is actually Cine K right so there are two different people who are actually you know the users of your Django website so all this information basically could be seen here right so uh, so this is how you will actually use the Django administration um, administration folder okay so now we will see a little bit more about you know what so whenever you are in one particular thing you know you can view the site and uh, basically you can go back and uh, 
you can if you want change the password or once you are done with it it is better to log out otherwise when you log in from the same ip again it will again log in directly to this so you'll have to log out and use for your next username and password okay so i'm just logging it out now and uh, if i click on the admin now it will ask you for a new login and i mean like you will have to log in again right that's it so now let's see the next step so in this video we'll just quickly see about how to create a super user that is uh, creating an admin account so we are creating the super user by using this uh, thing so in order to differentiate say you can create as many users as you want but uh, and you can use different names as well but just to make sure that you are using an admin account you could just initially give it as an admin and uh, say admin at uh, gmail.com right and then my password could be something say it is something i'm just bypassing that yes and i'm just going right and then now i need to uh, run my server right by using this particular command so now what i could do is that i can take this uh, url and i'm going to this website and I'm just pasting it slash admin it'll just uh, give me I don't want this to be done I don't want this instead I want to start with my username and password okay so mm. yes so now when i go to this particular area you could see that i am in the admin website and i could see the users okay so when i click on the admin so i could actually give my first name say sini raj okay the last name as uh, say polari okay now my admin address is already there okay now what you could do is that you can actually fill out this informations of your admin so why we actually give this name is that you know say later if you want to um, know that who actually created this website basically you could do that right so so for that only we are actually giving that name so we are just just saving it okay so now you can actually go back to your website so this is your website right now we are going to add the various applications over to this website okay so let's see how it is so here in this section we are going to uh, start with how to start a new application so say if you want to create um, an application with uh, uh, no, the blog right so probably review blog or you know start blog okay I will just say that uh, starting blog as my first application so the starting point for the blog okay so you could actually create like this so now what you could do is you could actually go back to uh, the uh, the shell so here so when you look at here you have actually got you know in the blocks in so this is the initial uh, thing which you have actually created in that actually you are creating this uh, starting block and you have all these migrations and everything here so exactly like what you have here in the blocks in you do have it here as well right so you have admin apps and so this is the first application that you were basically creating and in the migrations you just have this uh, uh, init underscore pi and uh, say you could start the uh, visual studio code so i'm just opening the visual studio code and in the visual studio code i can open the folder so in the folder i can go to django and click on the blocks in and i'm selecting that folder so if you could see that uh, i have the blocks in here right so in the blocks in i have this uh, contents here and I have the start so all this uh, needed files and all those files and everything I could actually access from within the Visual Studio code right uh, so this is what it is then another thing which you have to keep in mind before working with the Visual Studio code is that uh, you should have the Anaconda installed and uh, you should also have the you know just for a safer side the Python uh, installed in it right so these are the two things which you should make sure that you know you have actually installed so i have my python uh, and uh, i have uh, anaconda which is already installed okay uh, so these are the two packages which i definitely require and uh, i can access my uh, data 
uh, I mean like the complete data from within here. So in the blocks in I can actually see what is there in the um, you know uh, the PyCache and I mean like the init dot uh, this one and ASGI we will see what it is um, like what is this you know it is just a configuration file and then you have the settings dot uh, py urls dot py WSG it is the gateway interface uh, uh, server gateway interface and uh, so this is all for your blocks in and for your starting blog also you have uh, admin right and apps models test views and all the stuff which is actually created and you do have this uh, in the migrations you have this uh, my uh, init underscore y and apart from that you do have this uh, manage.py which will help us to run our server as well so these are the things so these are the things which we require and this is the way this uh, uh, you know we can use this uh, visual studio code or sublime or atom or atom is already i mean like kind of in the uh, sunsetting states so uh, you might not be able to install new uh, uh, packages there so we could also shift to um, say the visual studio code okay so that is also fine uh, so that is all about it uh, for this so you can this is how you will access those files from within the uh, visual studio code that is all thank you